Hello travelers! I am Lorkeen, your traveler's guide to Tyria. In our last episode we did some field research into the technologies developed in the labs around the Hinter Labs. Today we will continue our scientific journey with a visit to an old golem factory and study its history. On this hidden slope, we find what is left of the golem site, once Rod assumes primary golem foundry and an important part in the golem animation process. The events that took place here helped delay Primordius awakening for over 40 years, saving countless lives. But this came with a cost. So it's not surprising that the mark left by this place still lingers in the air. But what really happened here? It all started with an earthquake so furious, that fissures appeared in the ground all over Tyria, from Krita to Istan, and all the way to Kantha. There were reports of voices coming from those crevasses, and heroes were asked to go and investigate. When our heroes stepped into the depths to see what lies beneath, they found themselves face to face with hellhounds and ghouls. But once done with those, the hero would have quite a few firsts. Alright you lot, pick up the pace! Take all the kegs you can. We're going to need them. And find Vec, we need him to open the gate out of here. What's going on? Where did you come from? Are those explosives? There's a city above us. I know there's a... Hang on! Vec, there you are! We've got trouble, Ogden. You get the gate working. We'll handle the trouble. It's not that easy. The destroyers have completely overrun the central transfer chamber. Blast! If the chamber is captured, there's no way back! Wait, the quakes have opened up other passages. There should be another way out. The book is right. There is another gate not far from here, but the destroyers are right behind me. You'd best be coming with us. If we're split up, the destroyers will eat us alive. What are these destroyers? For that matter, what are you? Me? Right now I'm your best hope of getting out of here alive, Buka. We can chat later. We're going to need your help if we're going to reach that gate. Everyone, ready to move out! There are destroyers coming! Never mind, they're here! After a chase against the time, the hero and their new friends went through the big purple round glowing thing. Their first use of an Asura gate. This took them into the north, so they found themselves in the Boreal Station, one of the nodes in the Asura network of gates. And from here on, the whole Guild Wars Eye of the North storyline unfolded, which concluded with a battle against the Great Destroyer. But until then, the hero needed to gather allies. And for today, we will focus on the efforts to recruit the knowledgeable Asura. We have already talked about the dwarf side of this story, in our video about the various versions of Drogner's Forge. The events we'll discuss happen before the dwarves manage to retrieve the hammer of the Great Dwarf. The destroyers have followed us to the surface. We need to retake our lands. The sun on the surface is too bright. A wall! A big wall will keep them out. What is this? Typical Asura meeting. You get three Asura together, you get four opinions. Everyone! Enough! Our immediate threat is the destroyers. I propose that we pool our talents to create a superior weapon. What do you have in mind, Mamp? We gather our finest minds. Ula would be the best choice to build a mobile spellworking platform. I know where Ula is. She squirreled away in her lab. We'd also need Gad. He knows the most about containing mystic energies. And he'll tell you so, every chance he gets. And Vec, your work with the gates makes you the one to handle the etheric couplings. Forget it. Vec? If Gad is involved in this, include me out. I won't work with that old windbag. Vec, be reasonable. I am reasonable. Get Rank instead. He's capable and doesn't have any... history with Gad. As you wish. We're going to need Gad, but no one knows where he is. I know where to find him. I know where to find Gad. I'm a member of the Shining Blade, and we've been working for him. Uh-oh. Problem? Humans working for Gad? That's a recipe for disaster. And so was born the plan to build mobile spellworking platforms, better known today as golems. First, the hero looked for a little help from Rek, a perfectionist who is recruited because apparently he could see patterns and things where others just would see only chaos. For this reason he was found right here, in Old Riven Earth, today's Metrica province, 
researching the flow patterns of mountain waterfalls. There was no problem getting him on board and he immediately started preliminary work on the project. Well that was easy! Next step was finding Gad. He was a cantankerous demanding old Asura, who also happens to be Vec's father. At that moment in time, Gad was trying to gain access to the Bloodstone Caves and Sparkfly Swamp. That gate was sealed by mystic wards and the key was the arcane inscription tattooed in tribal form on the local Edens. Once the inscriptions were decoded and the magical door opened, the hero would have the honor of helping Gad find the Bloodstone, by killing more inscribed creatures. I need to extract the essence! Vec! Bring me a canopic jar! No, no, no! A jar, not a crystal, you idiot! You should be using an ether crystal. Extracting with a jar is unsafe. Don't lecture me about safety. You've always been too timid in your research, Vec. You never fail to disappoint me. I swear, if we didn't need him, I would shove him off a bridge! I heard that! Livia, hold this while I make the extraction. This might hurt a little. If you're extracting the stone's essence, the energies could kill me. Then get one of the other humans to do it. Don't bother me with trifles. Vex right. You should use an ether crystal. It would be safer. Ether crystals aren't free. Bukas willing to take the risk are cheaper. That's what you think of my people? They have no value to you? Not my problem. Are you going to help or not? You've had mishaps before. You rush things and others pay the price. This is wrong. You're wrong. I refuse to be a part of this. I'm sorry. Fine! Run off and leave me with the dirty work! Everyone wants results, but no one wants to pay the price. So who do I have to kill to get some decent help around here? Today, you can find the same caves and streets of devastation, but the door remains shut. Next on the list is the elusive Golemancer known as Ula. A brilliant necromancer specialized in creating constructs, she hated interruptions. So Ula squirreled herself away in her underground laboratory, where she could work in peace. To find this place, Vec and the hero needed to find Ula's former assistant, Blim. He helped design her security system and knew how to get into Ula's lab. And Blim did this gladly, as he didn't much like working for her. She moved his desk four times, last time into the cellar and then she stopped paying him and she probably stole his red staff. He loved that staff! Anyway, once inside, the heroes needed to circumvent the security system and many traps, but eventually they found Ula. So you've come crawling back, Blim! Did you bring that flux matrix I need? You aren't Blim. Vec? Is that you? Greetings, most wise and puissant Ula, mistress of the magical engine. Butter up the other side and pan fry me, Vec. What do you want? I bring word from Council Leader Memp. That old fossil? We need your superior skills for a great project to help all the Asura. Ha! I came down here to get away from all the Asura. Now scram. We need your help against the destroyers. Have you been hit on the head? I said no. Now go away. Well, Vec, I guess you were right. She's not the one you want. What are you saying? Vec was telling me that older Asura tend to lose their edge, that your skills may have deteriorated. What do you mean? There isn't a better Gollum answer than yours, truly. Probably, but if you're afraid the challenge is too much... I'm not afraid of any challenge. Let me pack my equipment. I'll show you. Deteriorated. The nerve. Nice job. Not bad for a buka? Couldn't have done better myself. With these recruitments done in the Golem production site almost ready, the hero went back and grabbed Rek. Just in time, as this Asura and his team were under attack from destroyers. Livia, I'm sorry about you and Gad. I learned a great deal from him that can help Kryta. Tell me. Have you ever heard of the Scepter of Ore? Just stop yelling and look at my calculations! I don't need to look at your calculations. I know it will work. Well, the rest of us don't share your confidence. 
What's the problem now? This hack is telling me I don't know how to format a crystal array. I'm trying to say that you run a greater risk putting the crystals in a serial pattern than in parallel. You'll get twice the power this way. That's too much power too fast. You'd flood the enchantment buffers. Don't lecture me. I was formatting crystals before you were born. Both of you, quiet. If you want to achieve anything, you have to stop squabbling. Vic, Dad, the destroyers! Now what? The destroyers! They're coming up from below! Hordes of them! We're almost done with the golems, but we're not ready yet. We can go hold them off. Should I come with you? Go, go. You're just underfoot here. Remember, parallel, not serial. Yes, yes, so noted. How do they expect me to get any work done with all these interruptions? Our heroes fought bravely, to protect the golem kilns while they heated up to start deploying golems. As soon as the foundry was at the correct temperature, the team took the fight to the destroyer hive, a bit northeast, where the beasts had breached the surface. Sokka, and Asura who helped cast the golem control casing, joined the heroes in this fight. He provided them with an ingenious device that miniaturized the magic of an Asura gate into handy, portable beacons, allowing for Golem's Model 1.0 to be summoned directly into the first lines of battle. The Golems overwhelmed the Hive and the fight was won. But victory came with a price. That's a good day's fight! It would have been harder without the Golems. Gad and Ula got everything working just in the nick of time. Ula, I was just telling Vec about your Golems. Vec, I have bad news. It's Gad. What's he upset about now? He... He was trying to boost the power of the last Golem. What are you saying? There was an explosion. He didn't make it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't understand. They hated each other. They argued all the time. Fathers and sons argue sometimes. That doesn't mean they don't care. My father believed in the eternal alchemy. We are all part of a larger equation. And so, we commend Gad's remains to that greater equation. His ashes return to the universe, but his knowledge remains with us. Vec, we are all sorry. He died the way he lived, focused on his goal and consequences be damned. I tried to warn him. I know. I understand the need to protect the ones you love. Always remember, he gave us a great victory. I don't know how many such victories I can stand. Gad's legacy continued and in the present you can join Zogia in discovering Gad's last gizmo in the old Flamen lab as part of Asura's personal story. I'm not going to spoil that, but let's just say his work protected these lands long after he was gone. The genius of Vec was immortalized in a biography that we can find at the Astralarium, in Istin. Blim joins in an exile and together they contributed to the fight against the White Mantle. Blim is buried in the crypts underneath Divinity's Reach. Ula bribed the whole of the Arcane Council to exile her former apprentice, Zen, as revenge for him burning her books. That was some Asura drama. This is so exciting. When I was young, I had a copy of one of Ula's early Golem blueprints hanging over my bed. I was more of a Gad fan myself. The experiments he did on humans. Uh, you couldn't get away with that today. Well, you know, humans are people too. Yes, but science trumps all. In the end, Ula managed to make her dream come true, that of combining necromancy with golemancy. We can find the results of that in Ula's lab, right here in Metrica province. We don't know if this is the same lab as the one she hid in so many years ago, as these seem to be on opposite sides of Radosum, but today we can help Research Oral open the gate and uncover the last of Ula's secrets. Would you look at those golemites! Intact after all these years! Go see if you can pry a crystal out.
I sense something more to these golems than is at first obvious. Something dark. Astounding! I think Ula possessed these golems with necromantic energies. Watch out! I can't believe it! It's really you! Did you think death would end my research? It only revealed magical secrets most would only dream of. And all would try to steal. It's not like that, I swear. My greatest achievements will not fall into your hands. I'll see to that. Please, we don't want to fight. Oh, it won't be much of a fight. Did you think that was my last line of defense? Hmm. Engage automated defenses. You will not abscond with my inventions. Quick, grab what you can get. This situation is about to get very complicated. We can still find her notes around the lab, and a chest with a bit of loot and Ula's study on ancient magic, which might come in handy if you are crafting the legendary Axe Astralaria. Log number 5415-Omega. I don't have much time. This will probably be my last log entry. I have no regrets. I made significant breakthroughs, but I fear I may have dabbled too deeply into the necrotic arts. And it has cost me dearly. Some would consider it my final mistake, but I consider it my greatest triumph. I have tied my very essence to the core of my golem. There's no telling where this journey will take me. I have achieved the greatest feat of any golemancer. I am one with my OOL-99L. When I die, my essence will carry on with it. I want to go over and converse with Ula's hologram, but I'm too intimidated. Why are you afraid? A hologram can't hurt you. You don't understand. It's not just any hologram. It's Ula's hologram. Ah, yes. Knowing Ula's love of traps, her hologram might just kill you. Through a hollow projector outside her lab, Ula can share with us a few of her lessons, like how all of us are part of the eternal alchemy, and as such, our very beings embody magic. This alone will give you a hero point. We can't find any sign of the destroyer hive where they used to be, but south of Ula's lab, we find Perna, an Asura famous for designing the Krona spatial tuning fork that cut gate travel time in half. She was browsing old records in the Dermond Priory Library, when she found a reference to a transfer chamber used by one of her ancestors, Calcitronics. He was one of the tech magical triad and his research on magical frequencies led to the development of modern Asura gating. Some believe that Calx's experiments opened a fissure in the ground that belched out the hordes of destroyers, who in turn buried this transfer chamber. That is why Agent Tibbo of Order of Whispers is keeping an eye on Perna, afraid she will reopen that wound. You, of course, can choose to disregard all of these, and help Prana rebuild the gate that will lead you to visit Calx's hideout. As for the old golem factory, it is in ruins today and only some bits remain scattered around. Like this old pillar, where a plaque of somat opalescent material, is honoring the memory of the heroes that fought here in 1078. This pillar seemed to be the place where after a nap, Sokka got the inspiration for his golem summoning a sur and beacons. This is not surprising since after the fight, Sokka spent a lot of time here, generously giving his golem summoning beacons to heroes who would venture around Riven Earth. Senior researcher Shun and his salvage crew under the lead of salvage specialist Raj, are working to scour this site for useful artifacts, since the foundry workers once dumped their refuse here. But Shun is not the only one interested in what may be hidden in the ruins of the old golem factory. The inquest sent spies to infiltrate his crew and find out classified information about the progress of their research. It would bring Shun great pleasure if you could disrupt their efforts, and in return, he will share with you what he discovers. You can have a little chat with those suspicious salvage specialists, or if you want to go a step further, infiltrate the inquest's hidden lab nearby. It is named the Fun House, so it can't be that bad. I did not agree to this. I insist on being rescued immediately! I wonder what other horrors this place has in store for us. What does it matter? We have to get out of here before they capture us again! Mm-mm. No way. First, we need to destroy their research. Every last bit of it. We're in for more trouble if we ignore it. 
Oh, this is an eternal alchemy. It's eternal abomination. If we had time, I'd strap those inquest butchers to their own devices. But that's not the mission. Smash those research pods before they can render more evil. Careful, it's trapped! Advance no farther! You will pay for what you've done to our lab. Oh yeah? Who's going to enforce this payment? Thank you for asking. I'd like you to meet my enforcers. Inquest Golem Assault Force, activate. No, the gate! Your wicked creation controls it, I see. Don't pretend to understand our device. You couldn't hope to fathom its capabilities and intricacies. Activation complete. Intruders will be contained and eliminated. Purge these golems from our world. I will not tolerate such evil in my presence. We can handle these without even an ounce of perspiration. <laughs> I knew we'd get out of there eventually. The odds against us getting out of there alive were high, however. You were in deep, it's true, but wasn't it fun? I'd suggest we do it again, but I need to return to the old golem foundry. You've obviously lost a few nuts and bolts. I'm heading back now. Such a sour individual you are. <laughs> No one noticed that I pocketed a goodie from that inquest lab. I'll test it out back at the old golem foundry. And if you want to help soon find out what the inquest's plans are, make sure to collect their data crystals found here. Outside of hundreds of years old golem pieces, there is one more valuable object in the funhouse, and it's the arcanic interferometer. It seems to be calibrated to a mysterious frequency, if you inspect it. It will spawn Master Genius Jets and his assistants which you can defeat for a hero point. For your help here, Senior Researcher Shun will sell you Inquest Golem Arms, which you can take with you, to daze and damage nearby foes. And after saving Salvage Specialist Raj from the Funhouse, she can sell you what she looted from there, Golems in a Box, which will fly and detonate on impact. Sokka would be so proud. Were you among heroes defending the Golem site 250 years ago? Let us know in the comments section if you think your name deserved a mention on the memorial column. If you enjoy our journey, give us a like, and make sure to subscribe, so you'll join us on our next trip when we will discuss traditions, generosity and other Asura inventions. But until then, happy exploring!